The neighbors tell News 4 Jax they watched Mitchell Daughtry spiraling downward for the past few years. Today, the East Arlington teenager was brought back to Duval County from South Florida to face charges in the death of his mother, 52-year-old Pamela Daughtry. Detectives say Mitchell stabbed her to death, then stole the family's car and fled to the Miami area. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spent the day speaking with the Daughtry's neighbors in East Arlington. Francesca, they just must be so shaken up. Oh, extremely. It was just a few hours ago when we learned that the son of this woman was charged or was charged with her murder. And when I went to the subdivision uh, tonight, many neighbors were very shaken up. A lot of these folks have lived here for 20 years, 30 years, so it's a close and tight community. But when I told them about how the son was charged with the murder of his mother, many were shocked, but others said he showed signs of being troubled. Today, this neighborhood is silent. Neighbors told us they were still in disbelief after finding out the little boy they watched grow up would now be behind bars for allegedly murdering his mother. They say Pamela Daughtry was kind and friendly, but they never thought she would die like this. Upon their arrival, they discovered Pamela Daughtry deceased in the kitchen. Uh, she had been stabbed multiple times and was covered with a blanket. I spoke to several neighbors who said 14-year-old Mitchell Daughtry began going downhill three or four years ago. They told me he was hanging out with the wrong crowd, and one neighbor claims he even caught him breaking into this home. Officials say the 14-year-old was troubled. His father was in jail for lewd molestation charges. The teen also had a history of trying to harm himself. Police say his suicidal tendencies were so bad that his mother had to hide all weapons in the house. In the safe, uh, they might have placed the uh, kitchen knives, is my understanding, uh, because he had been suicidal in the past. Neighbors say they've been speculating that the son killed his mother for a while. And when officials announced the arrest Wednesday afternoon, it opened a wound all over again. Many have taken to social media to show their support for the mother gone too soon. And many people are also sharing prayers for the daughters she left behind. Now again, police are charging Mitchell with auto theft and the murder of his mother. There's been a GoFundMe account that has been set up, and of course that link can be found on News for Jacks. Also coming up at 11 o'clock, I speak with a family counselor about some signs that this boy could have had leading up to the killing of his or the alleged killing of his mother. For instance, he put a blanket over her after he stabbed her multiple times. We speak to this family counselor about that. That's coming up at 11. Right now we're reporting live at JSO. Francesca Gamerker, Channel 4, The Local Station.